everyone, it's Lisa. Today I'm here to do Gemma's favorites for the month of August. I don't have too many, but I'm gonna show you what I do have sitting here. So the first thing I wanna show you, and Gemma will be making an appearance, she's taking a nap right now, but I will definitely get her in at the end of this video for sure, so you guys can get a see her. The first thing I have are zip-up pajamas. Well, can I just tell you how helpful zip-up pajamas are versus buttons at three in the morning when you gotta change a diaper? Um, zip-ups, loving zip-up pajamas. This is more of a mommy favorite, but things that I'm loving for her and she's almost six months. She's gonna be six months old on Saturday. I have her six month update coming next week, but zip ups. This one has a cute little strawberry on it. This is uh, Carter's and this is also a Carter's. It has a cute little mouse, but she has all pajamas that are zip ups because I can't stress enough how helpful zippers are at three in the morning when you're half asleep and you're in the dark. So. So zip up pajamas are something that are a favorite of mine for her. Something that she loves and I'm thrilled that she loves it. I don't know why, I really wanted her to like Sophie and she likes Sophie. She loves sucking on Sophie's legs right now. Uh, sometimes she'll suck on his head, but his, his legs mostly. Um, so I usually have one of those links around this so it, it doesn't fall on the floor and she grabs it and plays with it. So Sophie, she definitely loves finally. So Diana, Diana got her Sophie. So Diana, thank you for Sophie. Something else that she loves playing with is the baby paper. I just did a review on this. I'm pretty sure the giveaway is still going for a few more days. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway for this baby paper, she is she's mesmerized by the sound of it. And frankly, so am I. So, so baby paper, something this simple that she loves. Like when she's in the car seat or the stroller, I just hand it to her and she likes to whip it around and play with it. And it fits in the diaper bag, fits in my purse nice little distraction for you know at least at least 10 minutes so another toy um, that she loves is this little hippo this little hippo is from Samantha uh, she got it from her online shower and this little hippo is hysterical you roll it along and these little balls you know pop up and down and make a lot of noise but when she's in her high chair or when she is laying on the floor if you ram this thing in front of her she just launches it she likes to take it and just whack it and she, for some reason, I don't know if it's the color or what, but she loves this thing. If, if there's a bunch of toys on the floor, she will go for this hippo right now. And it's so funny. So that's a cute little hippo. Two teething items that I'm finding especially helpful right now and um, are her favorites, frankly, too, because when she sees them, her eyes light up and her, she starts going crazy. This little guy from Munchkin is a mesh holder. It opens. You could put, I guess you could put fruit in it or food. Right now we, she's not doing food yet, but what I do do is I freeze breast milk and I put it in here. So when we eat dinner, she sits and she sits with us, you know, and watches us. But I put a piece of breast milk, um, I put a piece of breast milk in there and she sucks at it the whole time while we're eating dinner and she really loves it. These are super inexpensive. I think you could find them at Walmart anywhere. Um, I will link any, everything I'm talking about down below also. I think you can find these anywhere, but for breast milk, sometimes I'll put an ice cube in it. If it's during the day and I see that she's, you know, getting fussy, I put an ice cube in it and she just goes to town on it. So it's kind of cool. Breast milk, frozen breast milk, great idea in here. When she starts, when she starts solids, which I'm going to start solids, I'll talk about that more in her six month update, but um, you also could put food in here and she could suck on it right through the mesh. Um, it's, 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 it's not hard to clean with the breast milk or ice cubes, obviously, but I, I would assume that once we start food, it's gonna get a little harder to clean. So I don't know, I will let you know, but for right now with the breast, frozen breast milk and ice cubes, it's totally easy and she loves it. Another item that I got from the ba a baby store that my doula owns is this little teething ring. And right now it's frozen because I took it out of the freezer, but this is a piece of fabric and it's tied to a wooden ring and you wet the fabric and you put it in the freezer and then you just let her, you know, it's frozen when it comes out, but I just let her hold it and she just likes to gnaw on it and suck the water right out of it until it becomes real saggy. But she loves this because when it comes out, it is pretty much frozen. She could suck on it and it's safe for her to suck on it. And it's a wood handle, but this is another teething item. I don't know where you could find this. If you have a baby store in your area, this is, I know somebody in our area makes these. So um, I bought the Mickey Mouse one, of course, but, but this is great and she loves this as well. A couple of books that we're loving. This Look Look book, uh, Mickey got her this one. So thank you, Mickey. Um, she likes this book. I don't know if it's the contrast or what it is, but as I'm going through the pages, she will stare at the pages. So so it's kind of cool, Look Look. And in that same category, Christina um, <clears throat> got her these, these black books. They're really good for when you're in the car seat or like when she's contained in the stroller or car seat, you just hand her one of these and she will kind of just like stare at it because it's got all different images. These ones have colors in it. There, there's a few more other ones, but um, these are really cool and they're small so she could hold them with her hands. And I know she likes to stick them in her mouth too, but 
um, they're solid. She's not gonna wreck it. So, so these are really nice too. A couple other books that I want to talk about. On the Night You Were Born. This book has been sitting on my shelf since my baby shower. And I've been reading her every, every week I pick a few new books. This book, I was bawling. Such a good book. You know, beautiful message in the book. And I love it. And I read it to her a lot. So On the Night You Were Born. So good. And then I want to talk about the Dolly Parton Imagination Library real quick. My in-laws told me about this. You know about this program that Dolly Parton does. It's called the Imagination Library. And if you sign up your baby, they will receive a book a month until they're, I think it's one book every month until they're two or three years old. I'm not sure exactly the statistics, but if you go to Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, just Google it. I'm not exactly sure what the website is. Um, but you go there, you sign up, and you could find out if there's one in your area, and if there is, they'll send you a book for free every month, and it's kind of cool. So my, we got our first book last month. It's The Little Engine That Could. We did not have this book. It's kind of cool. I think that's a really great thing that Dolly Parton does, and I had no idea about it until they told me. So definitely, if you have a little one, go, go on to Dolly Parton's Imagination Library and see if there's one in your area and see if you could sign up. I guess the whole, the whole premise is, is that they send you a classic every month. So um, we did not have this book, and this is this was a, actually another fun one to, to read to her because it's kind of repetitive and it's kind of it's a little longer, but she actually watches and the pages are really colorful. So I think she likes that too. So the little engine that could, and a book that I'm enjoying is the journal that I'm doing for her, and I took it upon myself. I bought some washi tape, and I am I'm kind of making it my own, writing in it, and putting pictures in it, and that's that's something that I'm really loving. I found this on Zulily, but I know they have it on Amazon too. But I really am happy that I purchased this book because I'm writing in it and capturing all of the moments in there. So hopefully, when she's older, she can look back and see everything and and be happy that I did. I don't know. So I know my mom did it for us, and I, I like looking back in my book and looking at all that stuff. So. And, of course, I couldn't do a video without talking about my bows. I bought a flamingo bow to match her little swimsuit. So I, in the swimsuit picture, I don't know, if I could find it, I'll enter it here. But her swimsuit has flamingos on it, so I put this in her hair when she's, on it, when she's in the pool. And I bought a gray one, and I, and I bought this cute magenta one, and I bought this cute one with sequins. So bows, again, Masterpieces of Fun Art on um, Etsy is the store. She's going to do another promo for you guys for the bows. So if you go to Masterpieces of Fun Art and you want to purchase any bows this month, she's going to give you free shipping on, a, on an order of $20 or more. Just use the code Gemma. So I thought that was very cool. So thank you for doing that. I will link her Etsy store down below for all the bows that you see in Gemma's hair are from her store because I love them. And if you missed her other videos, the reason I love them is because there's this little grip on them and it holds in her hair. Gemma has a lot of hair, but it's very fine. So a lot of bows that I buy fall right out of her hair when you come home. It's just disappointing to come home and see that um, that they don't stay in her hair yet. But these, all these bows stay in her hair. So um, I know a bunch of you guys went to the store and checked it out already, and I hope you're all happy with your bows too, but I love their bows. Another thing that we are loving that I also did a review on is our baby mushroom mat. I'll put a picture of Gemma on it here. This mat is amazing. Um, I did a giveaway on it. I don't know if the giveaway is still going. It depends on when this video goes up, but um, this mat is awesome. So that's all I can say. It's amazing. And Gemma loves rolling around on it and it's comfortable for us to lay on with her too. And then just a couple incidentals that Gemma is loving. She's loving her thumbs. Yes, my friends, she loves sucking her thumb. She doesn't really take the pacifier anymore. She likes her thumb. She prefers her thumb to the pacifier. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that we are almost done with her playroom. Her playroom is on the other side of my kitchen there. For my birthday, Bill asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I wanted to finish her playroom. So basically, that just means we're going to get some blinds for that room, and we are going to put all of the Wookiee the Chew photos. We, we're, they're actually at Hobby Lobby now because we're having them matted and framed. There's six of them. Um, from the artist James Hans. I'll put a picture of one of them here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But we had bought these prints um, before we started IVF because we loved we love Star Wars, we love Disney, and this artist takes Disney and Star Wars and meshes them together. So this is called Wookiee the Chew. So it's kind of a play on Winnie the Pooh and Chewbacca. Um, and it's super cute, but I still wanted to use it because I, we were gonna use it if we had a boy, but I still wanna use it. So we're gonna use it in her playroom and we bought white frames from Ikea and we're gonna do pink mats. So it makes it more girly and the walls in there are real chocolate brown so it's going to look pretty in there. So once we're done with that room I'm going to do a little playroom tour so you guys could see her playroom and you guys could see all of the stuff that you got her and, and where it is in the room. And um, So I, I know a lot of people are interested in seeing that. So once it's finished, which will be probably a couple more weeks, um, I will definitely show you guys that. So 
So this was Gemma's favorites. I'm going to have her six month update next week. So much has changed. She got so big. It makes me so sad. I want her to stop growing. I want her to stop growing for a little bit, but she's getting so big and I just love her. It's just time is going by so fast. I can't even believe it's six months already. So, uh, so yeah, it's insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, I will insert a, a video of me and Gemma at the end of this video here just so you can see her real quick. And uh, I will see you guys all in my in her six month update, which I will do next week. And I will do the whole video with her. I'm going to see if I can get her to sit on my lap. But right now she's doing really good with naps. She takes two naps. She takes a nap usually from um, 9 to 11 and then another one from 2 to 4. So she takes like two solid two hour naps, which is really good. Um, and I'm able to get things, you know, cleaned up and done around the house and start dinner and stuff like that. So, so that works out really well. In the meantime, check out all the giveaways I have going. I'm really, I'm really happy that I'm able to bring you guys so many giveaways and um, just have a chance to give back to you a little bit. So, so I hope you're enjoying those and you're and you're entering the giveaways. And I will see you guys all next time. Thanks a lot. Bye. Did we just wake up from our nap? Yeah. Did we wake up just now? Hi. Are we sucking her thumb? Oh, here she is, guys. She's a good hey. girl. She's wearing her little flamingos, right? You're wearing your little flamingos? What are you saying? Are you talking to everybody? Are you saying hi? Kisses? Are you giving him kisses?